If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button below and that notification bell so you can get notified when I put out new videos. Hey guys, what's up? It's Katrina, aka Nini. I gotta be really honest, I'm having like one of those days where everything is annoying me. Like, where does this even come from? <sighs> Annoyed. It's like one of those days where you need to take a deep breath. <sighs> Why is somebody upstairs right now? I can't get it together today. <laughs> And my whole day wasn't like this. I feel like once I sat down to like write the outline for this video, that's when I was just getting frustrated because nothing was coming together in my mind. And finally it was just like, put yourself in front of the camera. You've written enough right now. Let's just see what comes out. And sometimes the organic stuff can be better than the written stuff. So I don't know, we'll see, but yeah. I'm not like totally upbeat this video. That's why I just feel like everything is annoying me. And I think maybe later I'm gonna do some yoga with Adrian. So in this week's video, I wanna talk about judgment. Judgment, because I feel like when I was going through my grief journey, like when it, when it first began in the first year or so, I felt like I was putting a lot of judgments on myself and I felt like I was getting judgment from other people, whether that was real or not. I just felt uh, an intense amount of judgment, which is kind of ridiculous when you think about it because I'd never experienced that type of loss before. I had no idea to act and everything was like a learning curve. So why am I judging myself for not knowing what to do in a scenario that I've never been in before? It took me a while to learn that because grief is something you have to adjust to. When it happens, yes, you are still living your life, but everything feels different. Like even the little things like brushing your teeth still don't, well, it just doesn't feel the same as it did when your loved one was here. Everything just feels awkwardly familiar. Like you've done it before, but you can't really remember that you did it. I don't know. If if you can relate to that feeling. I judged myself because I thought I should be farther along in the process. I judged myself sometimes for crying too much. I judged myself for not crying enough sometimes. I judged myself for distracting myself from my grief. I judged myself if I was eating too much. I judged myself if I was drinking too much or slept too much or didn't do enough to get my life back on track. It was just this constant, constant, constant not being good enough. And then those judgments started to expand, not just what I was doing to myself, but what I thought other people might be saying about me behind my back. And that really manifested itself, especially when I would attend like ceremonies or events for Michael, like for instance, his funeral. I just thought that since I wasn't crying during the whole thing, people might look at me like, oh, well, she didn't really love him. She's not even crying right now. I just felt like other people were judging me too for how I was acting, but nobody ever voiced those opinions to me. Nobody ever said those things to me. And maybe, yeah, some people actually did think them, but it's not any of my business what somebody else wants to think about me. I know what I'm thinking. I know what I'm feeling and this is something that it, unless you are literally standing in my shoes, you're not going to know what I'm feeling. You're not going to know what I'm thinking. You're not going to know what's going through my brain constantly. So I just started to think that as long as I acted within like my moral center, then if anybody had any judgments on me, that was their own thing because I know me. And I know what's happening in here and in here. I know how I act. My friends and family know how I am. Basically what I'm trying to say is if you're anything like me, you're going to judge yourself a lot about where you're at in your grief journey, about how you're handling it, about anything and everything that you're thinking or doing or feeling. 
I judged myself so harshly and so when I say in these videos that you have to show yourself a lot of love and patience during this process, it's because I beat myself up for a very long time. about how I was acting in my grief. Because I thought that I wasn't doing it right because I wasn't farther along in the process that I sh than, I, than I thought I should be. You know, if it was a year down the line and I'm still crying over it, it's like, why am I still crying over this? Like, why do these certain things affect me still? And it's it's a learning curve. You have to have some patience with yourself. And I think me deflecting and thinking that other people might judge me was maybe me giving myself a break from judging myself. Sometimes I felt like I was restraining myself, that I was putting myself in this little tiny box and I had to act a certain way in my grief. Why was I doing that to myself? Like, I was already dealing with the loss of, of the love of my life, the loss of Michael, and then I was judging myself for not grieving properly? How? I... I don't know. So if you're out there and you feel like you're doing the same, that you feel like you're not at a point where you should be at, let me just reiterate the fact that grief has no timeline. Grief has no guideline, no schedule of events. It's, it's all over the place. And the five stages of grief, you're not going to hit all those five stages in order, boo-boos. It's like you're at stage one, then you're at stage four, then you're back to stage one, and then you're at stage three, then stage five, then you're at stage two again. You don't hit all these things in order. Everything is just all, it's like ping pong in your head, like back and forth and back and forth and flying off the table. There's no set way to grieve. There's no textbook way to grieve. If we're all being honest with ourselves, it's all over the place and it's messy and you're going to learn a lot about yourself. So you just got to keep putting in the work. And when I say that you also have to show yourself a lot of love and a lot of patience, this is what I mean because I spent so much time judging myself that I wasn't where I thought I should be in my grief that I probably caused more problems for myself. So if you are realizing that you're doing that, show yourself some love, show yourself some patience. Take a deep breath, take a couple deep breaths and realize again, because it's funny to say, but you kind of forget sometimes just the, the gravity of the situation. Because I think you just do, like we just deal with it for so long, right? Because we're constantly in it. I think we kind of forget the the, the weight of it all sometimes and it actually took somebody else once looking at me going like girl you've been through some things like if you don't have this handled right now that's fine and I was just like oh oh right okay right I, I have gone through something I guess I can cut myself some slack whoa like that was a realization for me so oh yeah just be easy on yourselves, guys, okay? You got a long road ahead of you. A long road. But you will get there and you will live a life again. I promise you. You will live a life again. Okay, I'm gonna go and do some yoga or meditate or something because I gotta get this off of me. All right, that's all for this week's video, guys. Once again, I'm Ninny and I will see you next week. Bye, love ya. I think that's today's video because I was judging myself earlier today that I didn't use my time more wisely this weekend but like I've been so stressed lately trying to plan for Europe and get everything ordered in time and packed in time and, and everything like that that I felt like I didn't use my time wisely and now today I'm like why didn't you do that why didn't you prep more why didn't you think of more things. Why didn't you film yesterday? But no, you did other things instead. Then it's like, oh, I used a chill. I had a chill day yesterday because I needed it. And now today I'm judging myself for having a chill day when it's like, girl,
you're stressed because you're planning this trip, you're stressed because you want to get this video out. So instead of just taking a deep breath, I'm judging myself that I'm not doing enough. And I feel like that's something that we all do in our everyday lives, whether you have lost somebody or not. Sometimes you have to recognize that you're doing it. And I think I just recognized that that's what I was doing. I was getting annoyed with myself and I judged myself for taking too long to film this video. When realistically I needed this weekend to just be a little more chill than my other weekends lately. And it's going to be fine. This video will come out. I will get things done for Europe. Things will happen in their time in the way it's supposed to happen. It'll be 